Hello, I'm Dan Brumstead with Environmental Testing Lab. Uh, we're on site today to explain uh, how we perform septic system inspections. Septic systems are a major part of the infrastructure of a home and as such um, we try to do as thorough a job as we can when inspecting them. Um, septic systems don't differ a lot uh, in the types but they do differ quite a bit in what you find out on the site, the way systems are installed. This one today we kind of have limited access. The tank is installed in the middle of the driveway. Um, we were able to get into the top of the tank and get started here. Uh, we'll use cameras and mirrors to inspect it. In addition to that, we'll measure the sludge levels, see if the tank needs to be pumped out, and um, monitor the working level throughout the inspection to make sure that the water level in the tank stays constant from beginning to end. We try to run a day's worth of water into the tank during the inspection. Um, and that uh, is all figured out on how many bedrooms are in the home. So uh, the system is usually broken down into three parts. The treatment tank itself. After the treatment tank, you have a distribution system of some type. Hello, I'm Dan Brumstead with Environmental Testing Lab. Uh, we're on site today to explain uh, how we perform septic system inspections. Septic systems are a major part of the infrastructure of a home and as such um, we try to do as thorough a job as we can when inspecting them. Um, septic systems don't differ a lot uh, in the types, but they do differ quite a bit in what you find out on the site, the way systems are installed. This one today we kind of have limited access. The tank is